Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Ron A. Blue. This is Cooking For You and Me. Today we're making chocolate whoopie pies with a vanilla cream cheese filling. A whoopie pie is neither a pie, a cake, or a cookie. So if you're in the mood for something chocolatey and sweet, but you don't really know what that is, this is the perfect treat for you. So stay tuned. You and me, we like the same kind of music. That's why we make a good you and me. So the first thing we want to do is preheat our oven at 375 degrees. All right, so now in a medium mixing bowl, I want to add one and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Then I want to add two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Then I just want to give that a quick toss. All right, so now I'm going to set this aside, and now I'm going to measure out one quarter cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. All right, and now I'm gonna nuke it in the microwave for about 60 seconds, just until the chocolate is almost melted. And all I wanna do now is take a spoon and finish the melting process. So the reason why I finish the melting process by stirring with the spoon is because I don't wanna over microwave the chocolate and burn it. All right, so I'm gonna let this cool, and in the meantime, I'm gonna beat my butter and my sugar. So in a large mixing bowl, I wanna add one stick of unsalted room temperature butter, then I want to add one cup of sugar. Then on low speed, I want to beat the butter and sugar until it's light and fluffy. Now I want to add one large egg and a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And I just want to beat this on medium speed until everything is combined. And now I want to add my melted chocolate. I want to beat this until it's nice and smooth. Next, I want to mix in half of my dry ingredients while beating it on low speed. Scraping down the sides of the bowl when necessary. Now I want to mix in three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. Then I want to beat that on low speed until it's nice and smooth. And lastly, I want to beat in the last half of my dry ingredients. Scraping down the sides of the bowl when necessary. So our whoopie pie batter is done. The next thing I want to do is take a parchment paper lined cookie sheet and spoon about one tablespoon of batter for each whoopie pie half onto the parchment paper lined cookie sheet, making sure to keep them about two inches apart. All right, now I'm gonna bake these guys for about 15 to 20 minutes, and in the meantime, I'm gonna clean up a little bit and make our vanilla cream cheese frosting. All right, so now for a vanilla cream cheese frosting. In a large mixing bowl, I want to add half a stick of room temperature butter, eight ounces of cream cheese, two cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of milk. Then I just want to take a fork and gently mix it until everything is combined. Then you want to switch to an electric hand mixer and beat this on high speed until it's nice and fluffy. Alright, so my vanilla cream cheese frosting is finished. Now all I have to do is wait for my whoopie pies to finish baking and cooling, and I'll see you guys back here when they're ready to be assembled. So my whoopie pies were in the oven for about 15 minutes, and they've been cooling for about 45 minutes now. In the meantime, I made my vanilla cream cheese frosting, and now it's ready to put them together and give them a taste test. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. These whoopie pies are chocolatey, soft, and moist, and that vanilla cream cheese frosting is killer. You guys are going to love this recipe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time on Cooking for You and Me with Ronnie Wood. That's why we make a good you and me. We want food.